Hello, my lovely friends. My name is Ava, and today we have some alien romances to talk about. I love alien romances. If you don't know me, I think they are so much fun to read and a great type of book to escape into. I actually have two other alien romance recommendation videos. They will be linked down below if you have not watched them yet. Um, and those have more of like the staple ones that you probably know of like IPB, anything Ruby Dixon. So um, you can go check those ones out if you want more recommendations. Today I have some more for you and some more series to recommend specifically. The first series that I'd love to mention is the Captured by Alien series by A.G. Wild. A.G. Wild is a alien romance author I got introduced to this year and I am loving her books, okay? This series is about a few human women who have been abducted from Earth. That's how a lot of these books start out, <laughs> obviously. They get captured by some evil, evil aliens and they are put in kind of like a terrarium in this alien world, alien spaceship, whatever. They're kind of sold as slaves and basically animals to these evil aliens. And so each book in this series is about one of these aliens who is on this planet, or I think it's a spaceship, honestly, a space station of some sort where these girls are being kept. Um, they're undercover to try and take down these evil aliens. And so each book is about one of these guys like rescuing one of the human women. All of them also take place on this planet that the space station is by. Um, their spaceship ends up crashing on this very desert-like planet and everyone crashes kind of like with the person they've been rescuing. So couples um, crash together. They have to survive on this desert planet alone together. So the first one is Zool and that one is definitely the darkest out of the bunch. There are graphic depictions of SA and there's just some goriness, gross aspects of these books. It gets a little dark at times, so please be aware of that. This series um, talks a lot about SA and slavery and um, the illegal kidnapping of women. But so far, the series has just been really great. I don't really recommend reading them all back to back because sometimes it does get a little redundant with each book about them having to survive on this desert planet, you know, because some of them do the same things or survive the same way. So I don't really recommend marathoning all these books at once. I love A.G. Wilde's writing style and world building. It's great. I still have to read the last book in the series, Cairo. Um, but all four of the other ones that I've read have been really great. Another series by A.G. Wilde I love to recommend is the Riv's Sanctuary series. This one is definitely my favorite between the two series. Um, it's, it's so good, I love it. Um, I've read all three books. And so the first is Riv's Sanctuary. And this one is about a girl who's been kidnapped from Earth, obviously. <laughs> and um, this alien ends up buying her um, as a gift for his like wife. And the wife was like, ew, gross. I don't want a human woman. <laughs> They're gross creatures. The heroine's like obviously offended. And I was like, oh my gosh, you're calling me gross? Like what? Anyway, <laughs> these books are funny too. They have like great humor. I love them. Anyway, um, so the, the, the alien dude who, who bought her, it's like, well, what am I gonna do with this girl now? Like my wife doesn't want her. What am I supposed to do? And he ends up going to his friend Riv who owns an alien animal sanctuary and just dropping her off on his doorstep. And it's like, here you go, and drives away. <laughs> and Rib opens the door, he's like, what am I gonna do with a human woman? She's not an animal. What the heck? Like, <laughs> he's a very big grump. He doesn't want to interact with any people. He just wants to live on his animal sanctuary forever alone. So he's a very broody, grumpy hero and the heroine kind of picks him up a little bit and they get to know each other and they fall in love. And it is so, so good, I love this one. Book two is So Hence Protection, which is probably my favorite in the series. This is another case where the heroine has been kidnapped from Earth and um, these evil aliens are transporting her somewhere um, on this planet, this jungle planet, but she ends up escaping the truck and jumping into the forest or jungle, sorry, jungle, and living there to escape the people who kidnapped her. It's been over a year since she has been kidnapped and she's been living and surviving in this jungle on her own with her like little pet monkey alien creature thing. And so, so hot in here, you've, you've met in book one. These books kind of build off of each other. The side characters are all in there in the other books. Um, so So Hot, I believe, is the brother to Riv from book one. And so he gets hired by these evil aliens that have kidnapped the heroine. And they tell him, like, hey, there's this very rare animal that escaped our clutches. 
that's in this jungle. We'll pay you a lot of money to go find it, capture it, and bring it back to us. And so Sohut's like, okay, I'll go do that. He's like searching for this animal in the jungle and is like realizing this is not an animal. This, this is a sentient person. This is a real person. It has thoughts and feelings. It's like not an animal. It's a, it's a being. And he soon realizes how wrong these awful aliens are. And he teams up with the heroine to save her and rescue her and find a way for her to live and escape the jungle. I love this one. I love survival romances. And this was just an amazing setting that A.G. Wilde created for this. And then Cassie's Haven is book three. The heroine in this one ends up getting... Um, accidentally kidnapped by these aliens on the spaceship and Cassie goes to save her. That's basically the premise, like saves her from the spaceship. But then he realizes like she might not need saving at all because she's a kick butt woman who can save herself. And so yeah, um, like one thing I loved about this book that I remember specifically is the heroine is very claustrophobic and they have to hide in this very small area of the spaceship in order not to be tracked, you know? And she ends up having a panic attack in this very small space because she has claustrophobia. And the hero is just like holding her and comforting her and helping her through this panic attack. And oh my gosh, I loved it. It was so good. So yeah, this series as a whole is great. I really recommend it. It's complete. I don't know if she's gonna add more books to the series, but I just, I love it. Another series that I'm really enjoying is one that I'm currently reading because not all the books are out yet. This is the Seven Brides for Seven Alien Brothers series by Honey Phillips. So this is a alien romance series uh, based off of the musical Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. So it's about each of these alien men who are seven alien brothers in arms. They were in like an alien war together. They end up taking these women from a close by village on this alien planet, human women, and they kidnap them and like take them back to their like ranch that they're staying on, thinking that they'll just be their bride, not knowing like it's wrong to kidnap humans like kidnap anybody and they're ignorant and naive and don't know that <laughs> and so yeah each book is about one of the brothers taking a bride and trying to convince her to be theirs so far my favorite is book one because book one is the only one where she hasn't been stolen he like courts her to bring her back to the ranch you know it's really cute um but book two and book three are like like the stolen bride situations kind of and so it's only up to book five i assume there's gonna be seven books because it's seven brides for seven brothers, you know? So they're just really cute, really sweet alien romances that are very, very, very short and are kind of like insta lovey a little bit. So if you're not into that, probably don't read these. Next is a favorite from the year. This is Captive of the Horde King by Zoe Draven. Oh my freaking gosh, I love this book. And I know it's a whole series. It's the Horde Kings of Drakkar series. I read book two as well, um, which is this book here. I did not love that one as much as book one. So I'm just gonna talk about book one today. I did like this one, gave it four stars. Stars. This one is a five star for me though. I also believe all the books in the series are already out. I've only read book one and book two. Aww. Oh my god, is this dog? <laughs> it's okay, come here. Come here. <laughs> come here, it's okay. Come here. <laughs> okay, he was crying, so he's now gonna sit on the lap. And that's that. <laughs> there we go. So if you see a tail or a dog moving, it's because he he's being a baby. Anyway, <laughs> this book really reminds me of the Dothraki people from Game of Thrones. So if you're into that, pick this one up. But they're aliens instead. They have like kind of like goldish looking skin, a little like scaly looking. I don't know, kind of like goldish. The heroine of this book, she's a human woman who lives on this human settlement on this alien planet. The kind of like, I think, what are their people's name? The Dakar, the Dakari people, the Dakar people, um, they own, like that's their home planet. Um, and they have let human settlers onto it, but they don't really treat them the best. So the human settlements have kind of been starving. And so the heroine's brother tries to come up with a solution to help their crops prosper on this um, planet. And he does that by like burning all of the plants so that hopefully like that will make the soil richer. However, there's a strict rule about not setting flame or fire on this planet. And so the the alien people, the Dakar, come to basically seek penance for what he did, and that would be unaliving him. And the heroine is like, no, you can take me instead. Please take me instead. Do not kill my brother. Um, and the king of this horde of Dakar people is like, okay, well, you're going to be my wife now, and I'm going to make you my queen. And the rest goes from there. It is so good. If you love the Dothraki people, you need to pick 
this in the romance book up. It is so stinking good. I love it. Five stars. Next is The Quarry Master by Amanda Milo. This is a grumpy sunshine alien romance. This hero named Bash, he is the alien on the cover here. Um, he is a huge grump. He's been working on this planet to create a human settlement and a bunch of human women have been helping him create it and build it. However, they don't have the same work ethic as him, essentially. They take a lot of breaks, they complain a lot, and he's kind of like sick of them. And then a new human woman gets put on the planet to help them. And he is like very intrigued by her. He does not want to be. And this is like their romance. The heroine is spunky and just so funny. He is so impressed by her and he does not get impressed like easily. And so yeah, all this, all this girl wants though is for Bash to like steal her and take her and for them to be together. And oh, it's so good. I love this. If you love Grumpy Sunshine Romances and Alien Romances, you need to pick this one up. Next is Using Feho by Victoria Aveline. This is book number five in her Calcanian series. And you can read this one on its own. I do recommend reading book one first. So you like get introduction to like the world. That one's Choosing Theo. I've talked about that book in one of my previous rec videos. So my favorites in this, in this series are Choosing Theo, in this one. So in Choosing Theo, you read about how human women have been put on this planet called Calcania. And these people have certain customs to where like about aliens or female species in general, they have to, um, like alien species, have to um, be married. Like there's no single women on this planet. And so they have to get married and pick husbands. And so the heroine decides to pick this space pirate named Feho, Vanessa, her name is Vanessa. She decides to pick him so she can get on his spaceship and uh, find a way to get to Earth. And so she kind of is using him. And when Feho realizes that he gets a little sad because he thinks that she like picked him to be like her husband, you know? And so this one was just really good though. I really enjoyed this one. Um, that one and Choosing Theo are my favorites in the series. My next one is When She's Lonely by Ruby Dixon. We had to of course have a Ruby Dixon on this list. This is a very short novella by her and I, I just love this one. Ashley, the heroine in here was taken from earth a few years ago. She has not been enjoying her life. Obviously she was taken as a slave and she is now on this planet called Rizd 3. And this is where a lot of human refugees go to and they um, own their own farms and they're able to live independently. But Ashley has a lot of PTSD when it comes to aliens specifically. She is hard of hearing and on earth she had hearing aids to help her hear. But when she was kidnapped, those hearing aids did not come along with her. Um, like the aliens kidnapped her without taking her hearing aids. And so she has had to pretend that she can fully hear people because if you're a slave, an alien, human slave, whatever, that is imperfect, you will be unalived essentially. So she's had to pretend that she can hear perfectly for years. Um, so she is not killed. She still does not trust like this planet is completely safe, like Rizda 3. Um, and so she still is pretending that she can hear everybody. People just think that she's rude and does not acknowledge them or she ignores them when in actuality she just can't hear them. And so Kex is one of the like kind of like policemen, guardians on this planet specifically hired to protect humans and he ends up realizing what is going on with Ashley and he befriends her to try and help her out but there's also a little bit of blackmail in there he's not actually going to tell anybody her like secret but he like tries to get something out of it he's like you know what I won't tell anybody about your secret if you agree to go on some dates with me it's really cute really sweet I love this it's definitely friends to lovers and it's just such a great little novella that Ruby's written. It's also own voices too. Ruby is hard of hearing herself, so I love that representation in here. Next, I have I Marry a Naga by Regine Abel. This is her second book too, I Married a Lizard Man. I've already talked about that book, but this one is like a standalone. I believe all these books are standalones, so I thought I'd talk about this one. So our human woman in this situation, she has been entered into this hunt game on this planet, and uh, things get a little bit rocky when she's on this planet. And things happen to where she either has to marry one of these Naga creatures from this planet or die. And so she obviously <laughs> decides to, to marry a Naga person. And his name is Cesaro. I think that's his name. I think that's how you pronounce it. And he is like one of the like main hunters on this planet. And he is a Naga creature. As you can see from the cover, they get in a marriage of convenience. And it's kind of like innocent awkwardness at first they don't know how to interact with each other their cultures are also vastly different and they have to get to know each other and they become friends and it turns into something more 
This was really sweet and really cute, but also really slow-ish, slow burnish, which is great because you don't see that a lot in AB Romances. And the last one that I want to mention is just a very short novella. It's really funny. The title is really long. Um, I'm just going to show the picture of the book. This book is by Emma Eliza. I don't want to read this entire title because it is, what, like 15 words long? <laughs> um, but this is a very short novella. That's an MMF alien romance. So our heroine in this situation, the girl has been abducted from Earth by an alien king who's been like looking at her, keeping his eye on her for a while. And they have some fun together, but also his bodyguard who he's like in love with also joins in on the fun. So it's an MMF romance where he is like an alien king, there's a bodyguard, and this human woman. Um, this was super hot and super fun. Um, I just wish that it would have been a full-length book because um, I just felt like we got not as much as I wanted, but it's still really, really, really fun. Anyways, there you have it. Those are some alien romance recommendations for you. Please let me know if you've read any of these books or if you plan to down below, as well as any recommendations that you have for me. If you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can of course leave an alien or space related emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day.